place. It's such a dump. Why do we come here year after year? It's a McDougan family tradition. My dad loved this place. Yeah, maybe 50 years ago, but for God's sake. Yeah, it'll be fine. Hmm. That's what you said last year. And the year before that. And the year before that. Something always happens to make a bad situation worse. Bed bugs weren't so bad. I mean, we got rid of them fairly easily. We are not spending the night here. We go out to dinner and then we leave, okay? Sure, whatever you say. So let's check in, check out the room, get some drinks, get changed, have dinner, and drive home. Because that makes more sense than staying in the room that we've paid for already. Let's try to have a good time. Right. Oh, look. Megan and Max and Sean are here already. Fun times are upon us. You're still carrying a grudge from when Sean slipped you that pot brownie, aren't you? I almost threw up. But you didn't, and then you had a good time. So I'm told, anyway. Freshen up a bit before we. Uh, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, we have to do our things. Enjoy your pizza here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. See you in a bit. Thanks for being out. Yeah. Now, back again. We are not spending the night. Well, I'm going to go try to find a couple drinks. And you, just try to loosen up, okay? Ah, <sighs> <sighs> good God, this place really is a dump. Hey, knew I'd find you in the bar. Not that there's a bartender or anything. What the hell? Know what that means? Free beer! And I brought some more brownies, too. Please, do not give any to Angel. After the bed bugs showed up last time, she really freaked out. Not to be a dick, but Angel freaks out about everything. Help. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm really stuck! To see this, Sam is stuck in the wall. This is great. I gotta go grab my phone and take some video. What do you mean he's stuck in the wall? Will you help me, damn it? Dude, this is so going up on YouTube. Oh my <laughs> god, are you hurt? No, I'm just stuck. <sighs> I knew something was going to happen. Something always happens. I don't know why we keep coming here. Remember that time Aunt Liz got stuck on the toilet? <laughs> you mean in the toilet? And then there was that electrical fire that burned up Dad's good suit. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Uncle Sam. It'll be fine. It's not that bad. Easy for you to say. Would you give me a hand? Yeah, sure. <laughs> God, what's going on? How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Every year, man. Every year it's something. <laughs> Dad, why do we keep coming here? I hear there's a problem here? Yes, we need a bartender. I'm gonna go find one. Oh, <laughs> what's with her? So how the heck did you do that? It just happened. Every year something just 
happens. <laughs> you guys have been coming here for years, and it's always the same fiasco. Well, let's, let's see what we can do. You're Michael, right? I remember you from when we were kids. You haven't been around in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I haven't been here in a while. I, uh, you know, I went to college, got married, got divorced. Now I'm just back here taking care of the place with my mom. Well, it's uh, nice to see you again, Mike. <laughs> yeah, you too. Dad, could you please stop filming? Okay, okay. Are we doing this? Or... Ah! Oh, my God. Are you okay? You all right, man? Well, fun's over. Yeah, let's go. You okay? Come on. Yeah. Yes. You know, your dad did that one time. He put his fist through the wall. Really? When was that? Oh, a long time ago. He... I mean, he used to come up here a lot. He, he came alone, of course. Your dad was a great guy. He taught me carpentry. You're a carpenter? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, we're all carpenters, just like our dad. You know, your... Your dad used to come up here, my mom. Like, <laughs> she couldn't wait to see him. You guys, come on, you guys. Maybe that's why he was on the road all the time? Well, now we know why he always wanted to come back to this place. Mike, you're a McDougan. <laughs>